If you are here, you are probably wondering how to implement TopGG vote webhooks into your Discord bot, or you are weirdly obsessed with hearing my voice. For the sake of this video, I'll assume you are here for the webhooks. Don't worry, I won't take offense. They might seem hard to implement, but you'll soon see that it's pretty easy. Enough with the niceties, let's get working. To implement the webhook API into your example bot, we start by importing the express library for our HTTP server and the TopGG SDK for handling vote events. We then create the express server and TopGG webhook handler. We pass a secret value to the webhook handler that acts as a password between our bot and TopGG to ensure all webhooks we receive are legitimate. We follow that up with a set that will contain the IDs of all users that have voted for our bot. Here, we're creating the route or entry point that TopGG will make a request to when someone votes for a bot. We give it the TopGG webhook listener, which will handle all the complex parts for us. When a vote comes in, we add the associated user's ID to our voted set. As users can vote once every 12 hours, we create a timeout to remove the vote from the set when the time has passed. This is also the place where we reward the user for voting. Just as an example, we will send the user a DM, but you can really be creative here. Lastly, all we need to do is tell our code to listen for webhooks on a specific port. In this case, I will use port 8080, but this choice is up to you. Doing vote rewards is really easy. All we need to do is check if the user's ID exists in the voted set we created earlier. If the user ID is not in the set, we tell the user to vote first. Warning, warning, nerd alert! This part is only relevant if you intend to use a domain name. You can use an IP directly, but this would mean the following guide might differ a bit in your case. I trust you can figure it out, you seem like a smart little cretin. If you intend to use an IP, you can skip ahead to the timestamp shown on screen, I don't know, I'm just a narrator. The first step of setting up our DNS record is navigating to our server's dashboard. Your dashboard may look a little different, but that does not matter. What we are searching for is the server IP. Then we want to head over to our domains management screen. In this example, I am using Cloudflare. Here we will need to create two records. The first one is a record with the A type, which points to your server IP. Then we create a CNAME record with the name webhook, which points to our server. Over on our server, we need to install Nginx, which is a web server. Nginx will make sure that the webhooks that TopGG sends will end up where we want them. Installing it is simple and requires only two commands. First we run sudo apt update. Then we run sudo apt install Nginx. Now with Nginx properly installed, all we have to do is configure it. We start by navigating to the Nginx configuration folder. Open a new config file, let's call it webhook, with nano or whatever other text editor you may have installed. By the way, the configuration is available in the link down in the description along with further details. I recommend you have a quick look. Anyways, we want to listen on port 80, specify the server name we set up earlier, we create a new location handler that will proxy all requests to the port that we selected earlier. Also add a host header for good luck. Now let's go ahead and save the file and restart Nginx to load the new config. Now on top.gg we want to click our icon, go to our profile page and click edit on our bot. From there we navigate to the webhook section. We add the URL we want top.gg to send requests to and also the authorization which we selected earlier. In the case you already forgot, what you're looking for is this thing. That's right, this is what you're looking for. Congratulations. And with that, we're finally done. You should now be able to integrate top GD vote webhooks into your Discord bot. If you want more information or access to the commands and configuration I used in this video, I have included a link in the description. If you need help with anything mentioned in this video, make sure to join the Top GG support server, link in the description. My name on there is family friendly, feel free to shoot me a DM or ping me in chat and I'll do my best to help. I promise I don't bite. Hopefully this video helped you out, feel free to drop a like if it did. 
If there is something else you wanted to cover or if you have any suggestions, please drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and the best of luck to you with your bot development.